Hello, I am Jahangir Alam. Today I am going to discuss about refraction of light. First, we have to learn about what is refraction of light. When a light ray passes from one transparent medium to another transparent medium obliquely, then it changes its direction of path. This phenomenon is known as refraction of light. So look at the first diagram. Here a light ray incidence is on a glass block perpendicularly. Perpendicularly means at 90 degree angle. Then it goes straight without bending, without any type of bending. So when a light ray incident here a o is the incident ray and o b is the refracted ray so when light ray incident at an angle with a glass block 90 degree angle then it goes straight without any type of bending so when light ray passes from uh, one transparent to another transparent medium perpendicularly then it goes straight without any type of refraction but when light ray passes from one transparent medium to another transparent medium obliquely obliquely except uh, 90 degree or any other angle with uh, normal or perpendicular normal is the perpendicular drawn at the point of incident with a separation line of the two mediums so when light ray passes from one transparent medium to another transparent medium then obliquely then it changes its direction of path this phenomenon is known as refraction of light this phenomenon is known as refraction of light so here light passes from denser to rarer when light ray passes from denser to rarer obliquely then it goes away from the normal so it goes it bends away away from the normal on the other hand when light passes from a rarer medium to denser medium obliquely then it bends towards the normal this phenomenon is known as refraction so when a light ray passes from one transparent medium to another transparent medium obliquely, then it changes its direction of path. Refraction occurs due to the variation of the speed because speed of the light varies from medium to medium. When the speed of the light varies, then uh, light changes its direction of path. Now, very important thing is refractive index. First, we have to learn about what is refractive index. For a pair of media and particular color of light, the ratio of sine of angle of incident to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant number. For a particular pair of media and particular color of light, the ratio of sine of angle of incident to the sign of angle of refraction is a constant number. It is a fixed value for a pair of media. Say if it is air, air and glass pair, this value is fixed. So refractive index is a constant number. Constant number. Sine i divided by sin r for a particular pair of media and particular color of light this value is fixed this ratio is known as refractive index refractive index denoted by eta here light passes from here a medium to b medium so we have to write a to b so refractive index of B with respect to air equal to sin I by sin R. 
So the ratio of sine angle of incident to the sine angle of refraction is a constant number for a fixed pair of media and particular color of light is called refractive index. So when light passes from air to glass, the refractive index uh, of glass with respect to air is 1.5. When light passes from air to water, then refractive index of water with respect to air is 1.33. When uh, light passes from air to diamond, then the refractive index of diamond, diamond with respect to air is 2.4. These values are all are fixed, fixed for a particular color of light. This, uh, the value of the refractive index does not depends on, uh, does not depend on uh, angle of incident or angle of refraction. Remember, very important thing. Another thing, another thing, if light rain, uh, say, passes from is found air to glass air to glass block then it bends in such a way that angle of incident and angle of refraction the ratio of the angle of incident and ratio of the ratio of the angle of incident and angle of refraction is 1.5 i by sin r the value is 1.5 so refractive index of glass with respect to air is 1.5 so if light ray again passes from a glass to air then it bends away from the normal then say this one is the angle of incident and then it is angle of refraction then uh, we should write refractive index of glass with refractive index of you can write g eta a so then sin i by sin r So remember this value will be reciprocal of the A eta G. Reciprocal of A eta G.